an American soldier facing disciplinary action, in fact, uh, was reported to have gone into North Korea and he is now being reported to be detained by North Korea. The soldier, who's been identified as Private Travis King, reportedly acted willingly by quote-unquote making a run without permission during an organized tour of the UN-run zone. Admiral John Anquinlano, who is the commander of the US Indo-Pacific Command, said that the incident is currently under investigation by the US forces in Korea. Now, hours after the detention, North Korea launched two suspected ballistic missiles into the sea as confirmed by South Korea military, heating the ongoing tensions in the Korean Peninsula. As of now, North Korea has not spared a word on the soldiers' incident and it's hard to confirm if the launch is somehow connected to the defection. There's a lot uh, that, uh, that we're still trying to learn. U.S. officials said they were stumped about why an American soldier facing disciplinary action by the U.S. military fled across the Korean demilitarized zone into North Korea on Tuesday. In Washington, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin expressed concern for the soldier, identified as Private Travis T. King, who was on a civilian tour of the joint security area on the border between the two Koreas. What we do know is that one of our service members who was on a tour uh, willfully and without authorization cross the military demarcation line. We believe that he is in the BRK custody. And so we're closely monitoring and investigating the situation and working to notify the soldiers next of kin uh, and engaging to address this incident. In terms of my concerns, I'm, I'm absolutely foremost concerned about the welfare of our troops. White House spokesperson Corinne Jean-Pierre said officials at the Pentagon the State Department and the United Nations are all working to understand the situation. Look, he's an American citizen. That is important to note, right, as we know as a soldier. Uh, we have also said our primary concern at this time is ascertaining his well-being and getting, uh, getting to the bottom of exactly what happened and what occurred. U.S. officials said Travis King had finished serving time in detention in South Korea for an unspecified infraction and was transported by the U.S. military to the airport to return to his home unit in the United States. One official said he was not in custody and had already passed a loan through airport security to his gate when he, for whatever reason, decided to flee. He got onto a tour where they were taken to one of the few parts of the DMZ where you could actually theoretically cross into North Korea. Reuters White House correspondent Trevor Honeycutt has been to the Korean demilitarized zone. We're still learning a lot about what um, exactly motivated this uh, soldier to cross. Um, the evidence that has lined up so far suggests that it you know, clearly was a premeditated thing uh, and that this soldier was facing disciplinary action and the military was about to be transferred out of uh, South Korea um, and, uh, to face that disciplinary action um, uh, and, and then and then made this decision to cross over into North Korean territory, um, you know, much to the surprise of everyone else that was on the tour with him, uh, who thought it was a joke at first, um, according to uh, the uh, witness accounts. The incident represented a fresh crisis for Washington in its dealings with North Korea at a time of high tensions in the region. Japan's defense ministry said North Korea fired two ballistic missiles into the sea near Japan early on Wednesday local time. The launch comes as a U.S. nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarine arrived in South Korea for a rare visit and a warning to North Korea over its military activities. North Korea has been testing increasingly powerful missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads, including a new solid-fuel intercontinental ballistic missile launched last week. A launch Pyongyang said was a warning to the United States and other adversaries.